Look what I have to offer you today, guys. It's a 2008 immaculate BMW 3-litre diesel, turbo diesel rather, X5. They're built like bank vaults. And they don't drive like an SUV. BMW launched the X series, the X5 in 2001, to compete against the Mercedes ML. This is the second generation, and it just was superseded last year. This is so current. It's a very fresh looking vehicle. If you pulled up and, you know, people just don't realize that it's not a current model. I love this clamshell feature in the boot. It makes loading things really easily. This can support the weight of a man. And you've got that flat parcel floor. You can fold the seats flat and you just huge load over room. Deep storage pockets down here. If you're wondering where the spare wheel is, BMW uses run flats. Twin exhaust pipes. Parktronic as well, as well as a camera. So parking this thing is an absolute breeze. You've got so many systems aiding you. And it's even got good rear vision, especially when you fold that cargo net down. The back passengers afforded every luxury. This was a very expensive rear blind option. I'm just over six foot. And in the back here, I have plenty of space. I'm very comfortable. The car does have a huge panoramic sunroof that we've got the blind closed at the moment. Passengers back here have rear aircon. They also have power outlet for charging iPads, laptops and whatnot. Nice little armrest here as well. Cup holders too. And the black leather is unmarked. There's been no kids back here, that's for sure. Although it's perfect for yours. If you have them. Now, as for tyres, the car is wearing a good set of Continentals. Very expensive tyre and it's an indicator of a car that's been looked after. The wheels are pretty well unmarked. And the tyre size is 255-55-R18. So they're an 18 inch wheel. <coughs> Original BMW running boards. HID projector headlamps. That signature kidney grill. Let's step into the business end of the car and I'll uh, talk you through its suite of features. So, the car is of course keyless go. So you insert the key fob and you just push the button to start. Fires right up. Obviously the warning lights go away, except for my seatbelt. I'm not parked putting it on because I'm parked, but as you can see here, 110,000 documented kilometers which is nothing for a, a BMW diesel at all. These cars have massive amounts of torque and they return fuel economy that, you know, if you were light footed on the accelerator, you could get to Melbourne on one tank. Here we have the updated and extensive iDrive screen. You've got your main options there and it correlates with this button here, this toggle switch and your home key there. So if you get lost, hit that. It's very easy and intuitive. You should be used to it after about a day. So down in entertainment, we can go to radio. We've got TV as well. So it's a digital tuner and it will allow you to watch television wherever there's a signal. It won't be turned off with the analog reception get out of this I simply press that menu key I showed you earlier go to climate control if that confuses you there you've got hard keys for climate control as well it is dual zone it's very nice it blows really cold as well just going to turn it down and uh, test that out 
Yep. Ice cold. Back to the iDrive. Navigation is up to date. Onboard info as well. So it'll tell you your range, your average speed, distance to empty, blah, blah, blah. Over here we've got the multimedia steering wheel. It is nicely weighted it's for more sporting drive than your average SUV. You've got Bluetooth phone capability. Down here this gear shift's a bit different. You don't have the conventional shift gate. You simply push in the side button and pull down to drive. You've got sport over to the left with manual shiftability. You just hit up and down, pop it back into drive, set and forget. Push it up for reverse or down once for neutral. It's really easy. It's the same as if the gate was there. It just doesn't have a gate. You also got a reversing camera as well as park sensors, of course. And to put the car in park, press P and Bob's your uncle. You've got cup holders and storage as well as cigarette lighter or power outlet. The car has not been smoked in. BMW Business Audio, it's a very good system. You've got an eight disc CD stacker there. As for the glove box, it's a very deep clamshell opening. You've got all the books and logs in there and you have a six disc stacker there too. So load up the CDs for a road trip down to the snow. That's what this car's designed for. Look out over that nice ride height comfortable leather buckets. I'm going to open up the huge sunroof for you now. Takes a while because it runs just about the length of the passenger compartment right into the back. And there we go. Very airy, very nice. It's a good place to sit. These drive far better than the MLs or the RXs because, you know, that Mercedes waft BMW drive I love Mercs, but they're more about slow comfort. This is about driving pleasure. I'm just going to pop the hood for you now, bear with me. So just pull that little lever, and I shall show you the 3 litre turbo diesel. So I'm going to have the cleaners spray this off. It's in nice, original, unmarked condition. All the hood coverings are perfectly intact. It's never been compromised. It's got all its original Aussie plates on it. Just a nice, potent power plant. Very torquey. Of course, you measure diesel on its torque figures, not its horsepower. Just take you on a final walk through. And it look, in my opinion, folks, if you're looking at an SUV, this was a very expensive one once. It's taken its depreciation hit. For not a lot of outlay, you have a very expensive car and it should last you a long time if you maintain it. Change the oil, do the brakes when required. Obviously, you don't need to do that now. And it should last you many years. And I just don't understand why you go out and, you know, buy maybe a Mazda 6, 5 or something when you could have the best BMW has to offer for less. And warrantied. We're the old timer centre. We specialise in cars like this. European prestige. SUVs, sports cars, saloon cars, you name it, we've got it. We have over 70 cars in stock at the moment. We are 101 to 103 Illawarra Road, Marrickville. www.old.com.au We'd love to hear from you.